And then he continues on in verse 32, where he says, if I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all peoples to myself. It's a very interesting idea behind that word for lifted up. Lifted up has two ideas in the ancient language. One idea has the sense of being raised up off the ground. The other sense is more of a symbolic sense. It has a sense of being exalted or enthroned. And I believe that in a very deliberate use of both senses of the world, Jesus says, when I am lifted up off the ground on On the cross, I will be enthroned. I will be exalted. It's another way of him speaking of his glorification as he spoke before. And friends, Jesus Christ draws people to himself. Alexander McLaren, a great preacher of Victorian England, he said that that, that Jesus and the preaching of the cross is like the magnet of Christianity. When Jesus draws people, he draws people by the cross, by his love, by his work on the cross, by the grace, by the forgiveness that's all manifested at the cross of Jesus Christ. The the cross is the magnet of Christianity. This is a problem, friends. I have to be very honest with you. In some churches, they don't preach the cross. They present Jesus the moral teacher, and Jesus was a wonderful moral teacher. They, they, They present Jesus the kind man, and Jesus was a kind man. But he was more than all of that. He said, when I am lifted up on the cross, I will draw all peoples to myself. Friends, we don't want a demagnetized Christianity. If the cross is the magnet of the Christian faith, then we don't want to demagnetize it. We don't want a scrap iron Christianity. We want a magnetic one that preaches Jesus Christ and him crucified. And friends, here's the truth of it. Jesus draws people. I don't even think you understand how Jesus draws people. Jesus says, now I'll just give one example. And, and I kind of apologize for this example because this example is just from the United States. And I want you to know, Jesus draws people all over the world from every race, from, from every class, from, from every nation, from every language. Jesus draws people all over the world. But let me give you one example of how Jesus draws people in the United States of America. Now, in the United States, how many people do you suppose attend sporting events? Sports are pretty big in our society, aren't they? Sporting events. Well, it's about 470 million a year attend sporting events. And that's sporting events of all kinds, all kinds. That's about 9 million a week. Sporting events of all kinds, 470 million. 9 million a week. Do you know how many people attend some kind of house of worship in the United States a week? The estimates I read, 60 million. Now, Some people say, well, that's down, that's up, this or that. But but these are the statistics I read. I could give you the the URLs if you care about the internet links. But friends, isn't it strange? Don't you think sports draws more people in the United States than houses of worship? You would think that from the culture, wouldn't you? It's not even close. It's not even close. Don't forget or neglect the ability of Jesus Christ to draw people unto himself and unto the communities that he founds. Verse 34, 